show. Do you have uh, any interesting Vince McMahon stories you can leave us with? Not if I don't have music. Do I have music for the last one? What music do you need? Yeah, we can... uh, well, it doesn't matter. I'll do You know what? Fuck it. I can improvise. I can do this shit without music. Because that's we, we were in this town right here one time. And the beautiful thing about being on the West Coast is you finish up early and you can actually go out, have a dinner. The fuck is that? You asked for music. Yeah, of course I get the wrong fucking music. But anyway, um, you, you can get in and you can actually go get a meal. You can go out and, and still get to bed and get some sleep before TV the next day. So we had done a pay-per-view and we came into Vegas and we're in early. And everybody goes to the hotel. Well, I'm happy because now I can sleep. So I take my night-night medicine and I'm ready to go to sleep and I'm in bed when I get a phone call. And the phone rings. I pick it up and go, hey, boss wants to go out. I said, look, I don't give a fuck what Stephanie wants to do. I ain't going out. <laughs> so it's like, come on, boy, we got to go. And I'm like, fuck, I don't want to go out. You got to go. So I get dressed, but I get dressed strategically. I put on shorts and flip-flops and a T-shirt. Because wherever we're going to go in Vegas, they're probably not going to let me in in shorts and uh, flip-flops and t-shirt. So I go downstairs, meet everybody, and Vince and everybody's there and all that shit. And Kevin Dunn walks down. And Kevin Dunn also is in shorts and flip-flops. I'm like, yes. So we go, we go to the win. And when we get to the win, Vince is like, God damn, what do you guys want to do? And you got all these fuckers coming up, speaking in their watches. Like Vince McMahon is on the floor. And they all descend on us. And Vince says, well, let's go to the club. The club was the tryst. And you, you walk over there, walking in a line, and there's like a line, a mile long, people waiting to get in. And as we're all approaching, you can hear on their radios and the walkie-talkies them saying, oh, that's a no-go to the two in the uh, shorts and flip-flops. That's a no-go, no flip-flops, not coming in. Then you go, they're with Mr. McMahon. To which, all of a sudden, they go, hey, guys, come on in. <laughs> we're like, Fuck. So we get in this little VIP section and bottle service, and we get hammered, just fucked up bad. And I get a phone call, and it's from my buddy John Paul Shellnut, who's friends with Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top. He says, where are you, boy? I said, well, I'm in Vegas. Well, we're in Vegas. So well, we're at the Trist. Well, we're going to be at the Trist in a few minutes. So we're sitting there partying, Billy Gibbons, ZZ Top, Vince McMahon, all this shit, and all these people having a good old time. You guys ever... You see the movies where there's on a dance floor and all of a sudden the dance floor widens out and there's just two people in the middle of the floor dancing. You know, got a girl, they're cutting a rug and doing all these moves and shit together. Well, we're a little bit, we're, we're elevated up on this platform. So we can see onto the dance floor and kind of over the top of it and shit. And when we walk over there and we look over the edge, sure enough, in the middle of this circle, there's two fucking people. One of them is Billy Gibbons. And Gibbons is dancing his ass off, and he's doing this shit. And that's all he's doing. And it's bizarre. But trust me, it gets more bizarre. Because as we pan over, almost like in a movie, you pan over and you look, and he's dancing with Vince McMahon. <laughs> and the damnedest thing, and the reason I remember this so vividly was because there was a rap song playing. And it was Johnny Cash's Ring of Fire. And I, you know, you can recognize lines and shit, but it's a fucking rap. Like, how do you do that to Johnny Cash? And I go over, and the only thing that can fuck up Johnny Cash's Ring of Fire, rap version? is to see Vince McMahon dancing to it. <laughs> and he thinks he's good. So when you guys see Vince dance on TV and shit, that shit is real, and uh, he actually really does do that in public. Are we ready about to talk about how we spend our days? I think it's time. 
Well, we asked earlier today, and before I go ahead and go home, I can't thank everybody up here enough. Everybody came out, and thank you for making this all a reality. And I uh, had, had a shitload of fun, and we are going to have a shitload more fun. I, I promise you, and I promise everybody up here, this ain't the last live show that we're going to do. Uh, it's just the last one for a little while. And I thank you guys for joining us and being here. Um, and with that, I'll tell you the one quick story about what's happening right now. I was here back for WWE about three weeks, standing up in the grill position. Jeff Jarrett, we're watching the monitor. When Road Dog Jesse James comes up to us and looks at us and says, God damn, boys, don't know when this will ever happen again. Let's do it. Spend my days working hard on the go, but the hand. I said, whoa, shut that shit down right now. That ain't how it goes. Because he doesn't know any more words than that, to be quite, quite honest with you. I said, you got to slow it down. And it goes a little something like this. Spend my days working hard on the go, but the hands on the clock keep spinning too slow. Cause I can't wait to be alone with my baby tonight. You know my baby's got me wrapped around her little finger. And you know that I would walk through hell and back to be with her. Cause I can't wait to be alone with my baby tonight. Thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of our cast. I love you.